Wait a little while, hey man Wait a little while and see I think I see my father coming Way across the sea Father, did you bring me silver? Father, did you bring me some gold? What did you bring me, dear father? To keep me from the gallows pole I didn't bring no silver, I didn't bring no gold, I come to see you hanging from the gallows pole. traditional song in Double Drop D. Hello my veteran friends and welcome to another Double Drop D lesson. We are actually capoed on the second fret today to change the tone from a D up to an E but we'll talk about uh, the shapes rather than the actual absolute tone in the song. So this is about, my guess is it's about our 10th Double Drop D song on this channel. And this um, if I didn't mention it, it's an old traditional song. I did a tiny bit of research on it and found out it was first recorded by Lead Belly in 1939, uh, covered by Odetta as well, another uh, superstar folk singer in American history. And then uh, a lot of you probably know the title because Led Zeppelin covered it and they treated it very differently. Um, I'm playing it in the style of Willie Watson. Uh, kind of a modern folk and bluegrass artist. Um, and I'm not doing it exactly the way Willie does it. I'm leaving out some of his elements to make it a little bit simpler to play. Um, so let's talk about the chords. Um, the first chord is a D, D shape. And that is um, index finger on string three, fret two, and ring finger on string two, fret three, six string chord. 
Second chord is a C, a very traditional C shape that you're familiar with. So even though we're in a double drop D tuning, we're playing this C shape and we're doing it to walk down to a G. That's a very simple G. I've just got my um, middle finger on string five, fret two. So it's D, C, G, D. Most of the song is that. to this crazy F that I play. Now the way I play it, I'm using my um, first knuckle of my ring finger to bar strings six, five, and four on the um, third fret above the capo. And then I'm adding my index finger on string two, um, fret one. Now if your anatomy doesn't work that way, and I, I'm pretty sure some people's knuckle doesn't bend that way, you can also use your ring finger on string six, fret three, and your pinky, string four, uh, fret three, and then catch that um, string two, fret one. Uh, uh, you could even play, well, never mind. <laughs> Let's not go there. Uh, but you'll figure out a way to play it that works for you. But basically, it's a. Uh, it's a form of an F that has some dissonance in it, but it, it sounds good in this genre. And then I move up to what I'm calling a G5. Uh, the reason I'm calling that is I'm fretting uh, string six on the fifth fret. That's a clean sounding chord. And I'm using my, um, so I'm using my ring finger on uh, fret five and my index on um, string two fret three. And that, um, ring finger is actually um, muting out string five. So it's... Okay, I think that's all the chords. To talk a little bit about strum pattern, it's my typical one for this style of music. So I uh, hit the bass notes and do a down, up, down, up, down. string with your index finger. Very much in keeping with the uh, traditional nature of this song. It has kind of a Kentucky bluegrass feel to it. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed that double drop D lesson and I look forward to sending you another song next week. Until then, adios my friends.